Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to take a look at another really unusual mousetrap from Denmark. This was sent to me by a YouTube viewer named Robin. Thank you so much to Robin for sending me this Danish trap. This is called the Throwaway Mousetrap. It's made by the trapcompany.com, also mickeytrap.com. It doesn't look like it could catch a mouse. It's a thin piece of plastic. There are actually six traps in here, but they fold together like an origami project. It says you can add poison and make it a kill trap. The mouse will go in there, eat the poison, die, you can throw it away. Or you can put bait in it and use it as a live catch trap. Let's open this up. You can see the six traps. We'll punch these out and then fold it up. On the sides we have tabs and little slots. That's how we lock it together. It's pretty simple to put together. Those three tabs lock it in place. We have the door in front here that opens and closes. The idea is the mouse will go in there to get the bait, push that up closes behind them and you got them. I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's go test it out with our pet mice, see if they go in there and get caught. Then we'll go set it up in the barn with motion cameras, see if we can get some wild mice. Let's see if any of our female pet mice get caught in the throwaway plastic mouse trap. It's been over 15 minutes and we haven't caught a mouse. They sit right at the entrance, but they don't go inside. They just do a lot of pooping. So this trap did not work with our pet mice. Let's go set it up in the barn with motion cameras, see if we can get some wild mice. Last night we tested out this Danish throwaway plastic origami mouse trap, and pretty much the name is correct. You should just throw this thing away. There was no chance it was catching a mouse. They went in there, took the bait, but the door's too flimsy, they could get out. So in theory it's an interesting idea, but in reality it just didn't perform. There are so many different mouse trap designs out there. I love testing them out, that way I know which ones work and which ones don't. And this definitely falls in that second category. I'm posting between four and five rodent trap videos a week, so if you wanna see how to deal with mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much to Robin for sending me this trap. This package also contained a vole trap and we'll test that out in the near future.